All right, I'm not going to throw a purse at you, um, but I have, I think, a lot of really interesting knowledge to share. Um, I'm a huge fan of authenticity and storytelling, and I really drink the Kool-Aid, but today I'm going to give you actual practical tools to elevate the Facebook Lives that you put out. Um, so, why do Facebook Live over any other platform? Well, it's really about getting the highest organic engagement on Facebook. If you are a marketer and, or even as a creator, you know that the best way to get organic engagement is live. Um, and so, really, like, it's such a valuable tool, and I think that it's underutilized both by creators and brands. I'm seeing a lot of brands where they, they use it haphazardly or creators that use it haphazardly, and it really needs to be given its own like, professional broadcast, and you need to like, take it like, very seriously. So why is it so cool and different? It's all about providing different experiences. It's about that interactivity. It's finding a way to connect with your audience in a new and a unique way. And I think it allows, as a creator, it allows you to get your fans a little bit closer to you. Like, if they're on Snap or any other platform, they can talk back to you. But in that live format where they're actually being able to tell you to do something, like, having that real, like, connection is, is very unique. And I think it's a really interesting and different platform, even than other live streaming platforms, because live streaming's been around forever. So why Facebook? One in seven people on this planet are on Facebook. That's a crazy statistic. That means that you're not just reaching the people in the US. You have this like incredible opportunity to reach people in places that you'd never imagined. And that is the major opportunity for also for brands and for creators. So why is Facebook Live different? Well, your fans get a notification. And that's an important thing, both as a brand as a creator, is that notification. There aren't many things right now where you can get Facebook to put a notification in people's uh, Facebook accounts. And that's really powerful. So, this is, I think, a fact that a lot of people don't know, that the actual engagement, if you upload a video to your Facebook page, if that was a live video, you'd get 10x the engagement. And people on Facebook are tired of the same old thing. It's new, it's different, and I don't think a lot of people are really doing it in the best way that they possibly could. So, to the knowledge bit. If you are a creator and you don't have a ton of money to spend on creating this incredible Facebook Live broadcast quality feed, here's what you need to buy. And this is just like easy, simple. There's this tool called the B Script. I carry it with me everywhere. It's super easy. You can throw your iPhone into the B Script and you can put it on a tripod with a light and a little setup. And if you have a branded step and repeat, you can come to a conference like this one and do a Facebook Live broadcast out in the lobby area with some of the other creators and like get a whole bunch of engagement. There's like a huge opportunity right here in this room to collaborate with a whole bunch of creators and do something really fun and expose your brand to other brands. So before you get crazy and start like, oh, I'm going to do live right this minute, focus. Think about the participatory function that you really need to include the audience. As soon as you don't include the audience, and I see this happen all the time on Facebook Live, where it's two people having a discussion and the audience is just there, that's not live. That's, that's television. That's why television is boring. Like, if you leave that out, you've left out the key, the key component. Um, and don't be a talking head. Nobody wants you to be MSNBC or CNBC. They want you to be you. And it is about that authenticity and like looking like you're being yourself and just like actually having a good time. Um, and then also including visual cues is really important because even though it's Facebook, a lot of people still watch it without sound, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but they do it. And so if you can find a way to add into your live like a fun sign or just like silly stuff, it can really elevate the number of views you're getting and the people that actually wind up turning on their sound. 
So what works on Facebook Live? Well, these are two examples that really crushed it. Um, this one I loved, which was a T-Rex in Times Square that little things did, and basically you just like could tell the T-Rex what to do, and like people were in the comments being like, ask that girl out on a date, T-Rex, and like the T-Rex is like asking a girl out on a date. Like, fun stuff like that really works, and of course, Everybody knows the exploding watermelon that like crushed it for BuzzFeed, but not everybody's BuzzFeed, so you gotta come up with your own fun spin on Facebook Live. Level two, I'm treating this like a video game because like basically that's the way I see it. There's like different levels of like how advanced mode you wanna get with your Facebook Live setup. So this one I actually brought with me here. It's really easy, it's a Sony FS5 camera that I have on a tripod. I have a branded step and repeat that you can throw in a pop-up, you can bring it anywhere. And then there's that little Teradact video. It's not very expensive. It's a small box that you mount on any camera. You could even do it on a DSLR. And then you're ready to go out to Facebook from your page right there. And you can even, it has an app. So you could even like sit, and even if you didn't have somebody to operate the camera, you could go live yourself and like just run your own broadcast. And I think that's one of the things, is this actually makes a huge difference because having that production, that like great video quality, YouTubers have been doing it forever, right? But they haven't really been doing it in the live setting, and I, I don't see many people doing it. So this applies, I think, mostly to brands, but I always think about the content solar system, thinking that like basically, you need to reach, when you're doing Facebook Live, you need to reach outside of your comfort zone. If the brand is Huggies, like people don't wanna see some like weird diaper tutorial on Facebook Live. They want like interesting mommy stories with their kids. Like you gotta like reach outside. You have to go far out of the, your, your brand's comfort zone. And I do that for NASDAQ every day. I have a show on, that where I interview business authors, and I call it NASDAQ Reads. And what, is, what do business authors have to do with NASDAQ? Well, they're ambitious and they're all about kind of their hustle. And so I, I kind of pull it back to what are the pillars of the brand and what are the things that you can, you can express in different ways that connect with people on a, on a more like human level and just make it really relatable and fun. All right, so this is level three. And this is if you're gonna get really advanced mode, maybe this isn't you're gonna bring it to a conference, maybe this is like a, I'm gonna take Facebook Lives like, and creating my own Facebook Live series very seriously. And so this is a vMix Go. It's basically a broadcast system in a box. And if you buy this, you can hook up two or three cameras and do multi-camera switching straight out to your Facebook page. You can add in graphics, you can do overlays, all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, and it's a little expensive, but it depends how, you know, as a creator, if you're really gonna take it to the next level. And for a brand, this is sort of like a no-brainer. Like, if a brand doesn't have a video studio right now in this day, it's, it's a little shocking to me because I, I kind of view every brand that this, that Facebook Live right now is the opportunity to take you from being a brand to being a media company. And if you're not thinking about how you can shift yourself from a brand to a media company, you're missing a huge trend. So level four, and this is what I do at NASDAQ every day with all of my shows. Um, I produce 80 live videos a month. We had 20 million Facebook Live video views last year. So I use a technology called Vidpresso that, I, that overlays the vMix. So I've got the vMix running and I've got all these cameras hooked up to it and I have it in a studio with a step and repeat. Uh, that's me and Ariana Huffington. It was really cool, it's like one of my life goals. Um, so basically you hook that up and then you go out into this Vidpresso system and Vidpresso takes the live link and then it gives you all these cool features to do some really advanced custom graphics and to do live comment display. And it's also really helpful for the hosts because what I do is I set up these two laptops where I can give the talent, or if the talent is me, the best comments that are coming in through Facebook. Because one of the things that happens if you have a lot of fans, 
you get a lot of comments, but a lot of nonsense comments, like the, hi, oh, I love you, and like the, all that stuff, and it's like, that's not actionable. You can't respond to like, oh, hi, hi, you know, it's like, whatever. I mean, you can, I guess. So this is kind of like where I see it going, and this is the technology that I'm using now, and I, I'm not paid by Vidpresso, they're just the provider I chose. There's a million of these providers. Uh, but this is the cool stuff that I'm doing with it now that I think is gonna really elevate it. So I can now do live polls during our Facebook Live broadcast. You can literally poll the audience. Anybody who's in the live stream can participate in the poll. I can pop up their comment right on screen and then talk about it as I put their comment up on the screen. So it like, it doesn't just add that like second layer, it kind of adds that like third layer of, oh, I'm acknowledging you, but also like somehow with video production, I'm like acknowledging you again. It's really a cool thing. And I think that's where, you know, if people are kind of sick of the basic Facebook lives where it's you and a guest just like talking to each other, you have to elevate it some way, whether it's technology or it's like you guys are like building Star Wars Legos or something. You just have to like, no matter what it is, it needs to be elevated. So this is how I'm using it at, at NASDAQ. Um, these are some of the shows I've done. Basically, I did like a, a kitty adoptathon where I brought a whole bunch of kitties into NASDAQ. And then I, it was National Cat Adoption Day. And so we live adopted cats on Facebook Live. I had thousands and thousands of people watching. It was my most popular video last year. And people go, well, what does NASDAQ have to do with cats? And this, there's a fresh pet food company called Fresh Pet that is listed on NASDAQ, and they have a pet thing. So it's like a perfect tie-in for me. So I don't like do like, I, I'm all about, you know, seamless connections, but you know, every time people say like things are not connected to a brand or like the connection's too far, I say, screw them. I mean, go for it. Like I feel like brands need to get out of their zone and need to like do stuff that is just like off the wall because social media is fun. And if you're still doing things that just aren't, you know, exciting or fun, it's like, why bother? So these are the shows that I'm doing right now for my brand. I do these NASDAQ exclusives where I interview cool people like Ariana Huffington. Uh, I had the cast of X-Men Apocalypse and I did like a full 360 Facebook Live video, which was really cool. Um, and then I also had the fat Jewish, who I love, he's amazing. And then for our content, for what we do on a daily basis, we have two companies ring the bell every day. And those two companies, you, they're not used to getting a ton of media. I mean, they get picked up on the television for all of like five seconds when you see the bell on TV. So that CEO doesn't really get a ton of exposure. But now with Facebook Live, I have that CEO interviewed both at the opening bell and the closing bell, and all of their friends, relatives can watch. Like, it just adds to the exposure, and for our companies, it's an incredible experience. We started another show called The Millennial Report, which is really about kind of millennial money issues. And I think, you know, people think that millennials aren't, aren't thinking about their future, that they aren't planning, and that they aren't like saving. And I just think that's like super rude. And I honestly, like, I do. Like, I think it's like, oh, like, right, right. Like, you know, the generation before us, like, they, they caused the debt crisis and all these things, but it's our fault that we're not saving. Um, so, so the show is really just about that, and we interview, like, different companies that offer financial products that are geared towards millennials, like, cool, investment products where you could invest in your like five favorite video game companies. Like cool things that actually turn investing and make it a little bit more fun, a little edgier. Uh, the NASDAQ Reads show is my business book authors. I had Tim Ferriss, who's like my super icon, I loved him. Um, and then we do a daily market update where every day on Facebook Live, we have a whole team of market up experts that I interview and we like talk about the markets and we're like, oh, this is what's happening in the market today. So if you follow NASDAQ on Facebook, you could tune in and ask questions about what's happening in the stock market. Or, you know, is Donald Trump doing what he's doing with today affecting X stock? Like it's just 
fun stuff and we're actually there being human beings, actually responding to people and telling them, you know, this is what we think. Uh, I started another show called Tech Talk where we unbox really cool products. Why is NASDAQ unboxing products? Well, uh, we're the home of tech. Oculus is owned by Facebook. Uh, you know, Microsoft, they have a HoloLens. We have all these cool products that are made by all of our companies, and it's just a great way to showcase them, and who doesn't love an unboxing video? And I think live unboxing videos are really fun. And then finally is we launched a show called NASDAQ Disruptors, where basically um, we interview like private companies that have really cool, innovative things that they're working on. And it's perfect content because our, our followers, they're entrepreneurs, they're people who are hustling, that have their own hustle. And to see people who are coming up, doing their thing, and like actually getting somewhere is really profound. And the fact that Facebook has given all of us this incredible opportunity to create our own television channels, I just think it's really epic. And this is my channel, and this is just the beginning of my channel. But uh, I hope you all start your own channels. Thanks. <laughs>